All right, fighthype.com. Pleasure to be joined by the former super lightweight champion of the world, Mr. Chris Algieri. Also, just an awesome analyst over on ESPN as well. Chris, thanks for joining me, man. I, first question for you is Jorge Linares tomorrow night, Devin Haney's big test. Do you think he'll come out and try to press Haney as he did his last fight against Morales? Um, interesting thought. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I don't think so. I think uh, it's a very different fight than, than you know, his last fight. Um, also, you know, he's got a guy who's longer, bigger, and is going to go out there and box. You know, he, he's got great boxing ability. He's slick, good footwork, long jab. Um, and I think Lenares is probably going to look to take it to deep waters, to so not necessarily go right after him. You know, kind of use his experience, kind of set a pace, and just see how, how Devin reacts. Cause there's so many question marks around Haney at this point. Um, from us as fans watching, but also as, you know, for, for, for the people who are fighting him. So. What, what, what do you think of Devin Haney, Chris? Oh, his potential, how he looks right now, all of that. Um, his potential is, is very high. He's got a very high ceiling. Um, he's got great ring IQ. He's got a tremendous amount of in the gym experience. Uh, he's worked with you know, guys for, for decades now at this point. It's just wild because he's so young. But um, great footwork. Like I said, really good jab, long jab, good defense. Um, slick guy, hard to hit. Um, all the attributes that, that are necessary to, to be a champion, and especially at the highest level. When you look at the guys who are at the top, pound pound, they always have great defense. Defense matters. Defense wins championships. So um, I think that's a big part of it. And a jab. You know, having a good jab is really important. Uh, George Foreman said, uh, you know, right hand will get you around the corner, jab will get you around the world. So, uh, you know, that's, that's really true, and I've seen that, you know, time and time again with these guys. So his potential is super high. Those are uh, skills that translate to the next level, right? All that. The fundamentals work at every level, and, you know, and he's got those right now. Do you, what are you looking to see from him uh, Saturday night? Is there any, any significant you know, improvement you're looking for or anything? What, what do you want to see from Devin to impress you, Chris? Um, I'd like to see him engage more you know, with the dangerous guy. You know? um, I think some of those other fights where he fought guys that he was really overmatching um, uh, allowed them to be in the fight more than they needed to be. Um, I think if he would have pressed it, was a little more offensive mind, it took a little more risk in there. Um, I, I think we'd, we'd see... Uh, uh, you know, a lot more Woody has to offer. He's going to have to with Linares. Um, otherwise, you know, he just, he just can't avoid a guy like that. But um, you know, Linares is, is, is a hell of a fighter. He's a hell of a champion. So this is this is a huge step. Do you have you covered Crawford versus Brooke Ringside? I believe you were calling yes. the, the undercard mm -hmm. and all with yep. Christina Poncho. Yep. Do you at all get Kel Brook coming into Terrence Crawford vibes with Jorge Linares? The body looks good. I'm sure the punches are going to look sharp mm -hmm. and fast. But once things really come the other way that you can't, can't hold up against a breakdown. Do you sense that at all? That's a, that's a, that's a good comparison, um, you know, from the outside looking in. But I don't know. I, I, and I don't know if it's because um, I, I, I think that Lenars is, is a fantastic fighter and I, I've, I've watched him for a long time. Um, so it's hard to think of like, oh, was it more nostalgia that, you know, no, that Lenar is, just, is still got it, he's going to have it. Or, you know, are you right? Is there, is there um, a step missing? And is it really going to show up on fight night, especially with a younger champion, like a young hungry champion like, like Haney? Um, I don't know. I, I still think that, you know, Lenar has a lot to offer, you know, at this, at this stage of his career. Um, so I think it's going to be a fight. When, when you say, you know, when people, you know, when you say want to see more offensively in terms of pushing pushing the pedal a little mm -hmm. bit from Devin. What do you say to a young fighter like Devin? Because there's a lot that feel this way. They grew up watching, you know, the great Floyd Mayweather and their whole thing is, you know, skills pay the bills, hit and not get hit. I, I want to be smart, smart, but how can they balance that with still go out there and, and, and try and look impressive and all those kind of put on the action and yeah. Yeah, I think that a lot of these young guys today are not true students of the game and they don't look at the whole the career of Floyd Mayweather in totality. If you look at him in the 130s and 135, he was knocking guys' heads off. And he was very aggressive and he took a lot of risk with guys. Mm -hmm. He punched with people, he, he was a counter puncher with these guys on the inside. When he was the same size or sometimes bigger than those guys, he really used his size and his strength and his ability. As he moved up in those weight classes, he's just a smaller man. 47, he can't be that risky. You know, at 54, when he's fighting those bigger guys, like Canelo and Cotto, he can't he can't take those same risks. Um, you know, like he did when he was younger. So I think, I think these young fighters need to look uh, at the early Floyds. And pretty Boy Floyd. The Pretty Boy Floyd, before money. You know, Pretty Boy Floyd used to, used to hurt people. Um, you know, and he was looking to knock guys out. So uh, I, I think guys need to understand that even Floyd was balanced. May, watch Mayweather Gotti. Yeah, that? yeah, that fight was brutal. <laughs> brutal. 
Unforgettable. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the big talk for Devin Haney, of course, is Tiafimo Lopez and Tiafimo going back and forth with each other. Mm -hmm. Do you? What, how do you think that fight would go, Chris? It's really hard to say because I don't know what Devin Haney is yet. And we haven't seen it. Like uh, you know, we all have this idea of what he's, what he can be, what he, what he could be. I have my own, you know, my idea of that too. But we got to see it. We got to see it in action. Um, you know, one thing is the gym. One thing is 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 the potential. Another thing is is pulling the trigger where it matters. And this is the kind of fight where he's gonna have to pull the trigger. Do you think Tiafimo, the style that can get him at some point, would be a, a, a master boxer, or is, would it be more of an aggressive guy? No, no, I think I think I think it would be you know the boxer type. It would be you know the guy Floyd was able to beat everyone. You know that, that style wins. You know it's not always <laughs> right, the most right. fun thing to watch, but it, it's just finding a way to win. So um, and like I said, defense defense pays the bills. But you know Tiafimo, he's one of my favorite guys to watch right now. I think he is phenomenal. His ability to judge range, his counter punching, his power, his speed, his balance. Um, you know I really, I think he. Really Really does everything going for him right now, and he's also done it at the highest level. He's been in there and, and outboxed Lomachenko. You know, he, he he knocked out a killer puncher in Richard Comey. Like, you know, the kid the kid has 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 you know the proofs in the pudding for him.